Do you like this LED light? Could we do. We're going to show you how we made one. Right. Right, so the first thing we did is we got our friends at Visual Group to uh, come up with some artwork on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. Looks fantastic. Something that we couldn't do ourselves. And we had this backboard printed up. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't, he didn't actually record when we did this. So we haven't got the footage to show you printing the backboard. There we are, we took it onto the CNC and had the artwork printed out. We just rounding out a little groove there for the LEDs to fit in. There were some little holes drilled in those channels for the wires to go through. Uh, as you'll see in a bit, all the wires go behind. The idea is that this panel will sit flush with the wall in the canteen, you'll see in a minute. Let's just watch this machine doing its thing. Oh yeah, there we are, that's our artwork. It's a, a food theme picture because it's going inside a canteen. And we're doing it this way with this groove. These are for the LED lights, not a, a normal glass. Um, neon, but we're using LED neons that in modern take on. And the neon light, great thing to do. If you see our, our other videos, a little simple video, show you how you can do it yourself. But this is just top level stuff. Right, so there we are, we're taking up to the canteen. Um, we had this board printed, oh, hiding. We had this board printed on a nine mil board, because what we wanted to do is cut out the plaster board and then fix this to the studs. We weren't thinking at this point because it's actually fire red wall, double plaster board thickness, so we have to cut two layers of plaster board out. And as you'll see, then we just drew around it and cut it out. This project here is part of the big canteen build that I've done. You'll see that coming up soon. And this is a great little addition to the room. Just sitting there in a couple of screws, so I can draw around it. This is a great little innovative idea for this locker room. We also check out another video that we've done for this same canteen, a Paul Smith inspired table, which looks great. Um, yeah, getting ready to cut round it. When it's cut round, we'll get, we took the board off, took it down to get the neon put on it. So not something I can do or have ever done, so we took it back to our friends at the visual group who knocked it out of the park. Hey, I'm just using my multi-tool. I use this tool for endless things. It's one of my go-to tools. You can change the blades on the end of these. Here I've got a, like a rough cut blade. It cuts nice and flush. It's not marking the board that I'm cutting on, but cutting through the plastic board at the back. Nice straight line. Creates a bit of dust. You can put a dust extractor on there, but we weren't too concerned about it at this point. Yeah. Of course, cordless tools. Oh, they're a must these days. We're just taking off these two layers of plasterboard. Now, they're normally there for a fire break. So what we did is we put another layer of the uh, MDF behind which we coated in fireproof paint. And then we put the neon sign on top of that to make the neon sign sit flush with the wall, which is what we want. Yeah, just offering it up to make sure it fits before it goes down. To have the LEDs put on. And also, you see the different color. We're gonna end up painting that to match the wall. Oh, and here he is just wiring it all up, feeding the cables through the back, wiring at the back, cutting them to length. Yeah, um, and, ooh. <laughs> and there, he's just testing as he goes. Um, attention to detail on this job was outstanding. You check it out in the, in the end of the finished product, you see it, it's just great. Wee. So 
there we are, a bit of intermittent foam around the back and then we're just sticking this on. We need a little bit of space behind this board so all the wires at the back of the neon, you know, the space was to accommodate those wires. We didn't want to squash them too much. Bit of help there to get it lifted in and simply pressed it into place. Put a bit of filler around. Nice and flush with the wall. Yeah, when we put this on, it's always, when you're offering anything flush like that, it's best to put too much adhesive on, on the back there. So you haven't got to pull whatever you're using forward, you're always just knocking it back. A little bit of advice. Um, yeah, if you had put, knocked it in too far, it'd be harder to pull it out. But there you are, simple job. And then we put a little bit of flexible filler in there just to help try and prevent any cracking that would occur. And then we uh, went around with a bit of uh, a bit of filler after that, just powdered filler, a bit of sanding. And then, uh, you know, a bit of sanding, the sanders on a dust extracting system there, Henry Hoover. <laughs> after that, a little wipe down, and then we got on with painting. And there we are, final paint cutting up to the edge of the image as well and we think it looks great in place um, it does look like the bit of plaster has been hacked off the wall you, you know exposing the bricks that are there of course there aren't any bricks behind it but it looks great with it being flush it really helps achieve that and if we just sat it out and put a frame around it it wouldn't look as good and there's no way we could have put this neon just straight onto the wall um, that's it final bit of brush in there ready to get it connected up to the transformer which we hid up in the, in the ceiling space and that, that's another thing we did in this room check out the ceiling on this something i've not seen before but what we put in there um, and that's it job done if you just hurry up and paint that we can go and turn it on <laughs> Thanks for watching this video of how we installed and how we made this LED neon light. Looks fantastic here in this canteen. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Ooh.